morning, everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I don't know if I am. But my head hurts. Um, yeah, I don't know if it has to do with the weather. What's the, whatever they are, the plasma charges coming from the sun, uh, CMEs, whatever the, whatever it is. All I know is that, yeah, I'm not doing too well today. Um, okay, we are going to do this. There's going to be three spins of the wheel today. And the first one is, because I'm going to get the ones with the less number on there done. This is for a $25 gift card to 123 Stitch. And this is for any place outside of Canada in the US, okay? So we have, we only have two and they are Sally Hislop and Julie Q, okay? So we will do this. Good luck, ladies. Sally, you won. You won. So please get in touch with me and send me your email address. And I've never sent off a gift card from 123 Stitch. So I'm I'm I think it is, it should be fairly easy. So I will do that. So um, um yeah. Okay, so that one's done. Just a second. Some things leave you guessing. Mailchimp's customer journey builder takes. Now we are going to do the one for. Oh, oh, okay. So wait a minute here. I'm going to do uh, the cat as yes. And the flower as a no. All right, you see there, that one's got a no. And this one, I couldn't get it all on there, but it's got a Y. Okay? All right. So, for Canada, there's three names. And we have... Uh, Galani Galani, uh, Christina Mac McAllister, and Natasha Tigler. So, okay, so I have that there. If it lands on a blank, I'll just do it again, okay? So, let's spin the wheel, and good luck, ladies. I don't know. It wouldn't do it for me to just do. Okay, Natasha, you've won that. So please get in touch with me, Natasha. And I will. Where did my pen go now here? Oh, is that a bugger? I'd lose my head without it. Okay, so she won. Alrighty. So let's see. Just a minute. Because I don't pay for these. Come on. Come on. All right. Because I don't pay for these, this spinning of the wheel, you got to deal with commercials, right? Okay. So. For Canada, let's see which one that you get. So for Natasha, you will get no. So you will get, oh, you will get the flowers. Okay, so you will get the flowers. So that means that, um, Whoever wins the U.S. one will get the cat. Okay, 
So I'm just marking this down because when I have a migraine, oh, here's my pen. Nothing works. All right. So for uh, this one, which is the cat one, uh, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven names. All right. So good. I would say good luck, ladies. But there is a gentleman on there, um, Charles. Okay. So, all right. Let's see. Good luck, peeps. <laughs> Look at that. Charles, you won it. <laughs> All right. So, Charles, if you can get in touch with me, that uh, I will uh, send that off to you. Okay? And you must get in touch with me before tomorrow evening at, say, 5 o'clock. Okay? So please get in touch with me then. And that's five o'clock central time. Alrighty. Now for, okay, so these two are done. Now for next week's DRAW, for anybody who has not won yet, okay, on really anything, Okay. This is just a way to keep so that others will have a chance, right? It's uh, it's always nice when when you win. So, and both of these are counted cross stitch. Okay, so one is autumn, and this is a fourteen. Yeah, it's a fourteen count, and that is autumn lady. Okay. And you can do it either in these colors, which I don't like, or the colors that I did mine with, and that's the oranges and russets and browns and whatever. And the second one is this one, um, Lady in the Rose Garden. Okay, so either Autumn Lady or lady in the rose garden okay this is a 44 by 65 and this is a 39 by 54 and you don't have to use this fabric right you can use uh linen or whatever it is okay. so um so what am i going to use as let's do the work, uh, the word, um, beads, beads, okay, B-E-A-D-S, and please use the word beads in a sentence, okay, and it will be, um, so you must be over 18. Uh, you must, 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 must be a subscriber. You must not use any of those words. And you know what those words are. And uh, also, you must tell me where you are, Canada or the U.S. Okay, so, and this will be using the word bead or beads in a sentence. Okay, so please do that. And, um, and then I will do the D-R-A-W next Sunday. Um... Including this one, I only have two more to go, okay? So there is this one and then the following Sunday. 
okay? And, and then that's it, you know. So I can't do any, any more after that because it's, let me just see here. Uh, come on, where's my calendar? Calculator. Um, and this is only open to Canada and the U.S. Okay. Oh, here's calendar staring me right in the face. Okay. So, yeah. So, this one will be drawn on uh, the 23rd. Okay. So, next Sunday. And then that following one will be on the 30th. Uh... No, I can't. Sorry, there's only one. Yeah, sorry, there's only one more. Those ones there are the last ones. I thought I had another one, but um, the first is on a Tuesday. So that messes that up. So there's only one more, okay? And that, uh, those are the counted ones. I'm sorry for the confusion, but um, yeah. So um, it would have been good had we had been able to do another one, um, but no. However, however, at some point, perhaps they will do this again. And then I can do this again. Okay? And um, so it's, you know, doing it like this has saved me an awful lot. It has saved me a lot because I don't have the money and, you know, how much these cost to, um, um, to send off. It's, there's no way I can do it. There's no way. Now, I may at a later date also do another draw for a gift card to 123 Stitch. They're a really good company. I recommend them highly. Um, they have lots and lots and lots of good products. Um, it's, um, I have some here that I want to work on. I'm just starting to get the um, stuff ready here for um, for what's going to happen in November and the rest of next year. And even though I don't have them numbered yet, I do have it as up to 26. I can always add more, but I have to see how many whips I actually have. And should I not have 26 whips, then I will add as many projects as there is to get up to 26. So theoretically, because there's 52 weeks in a year, theoretically, I should, um, if it goes well, I will pick the number, you know, a number two times in a year. Now, it may not be that. It may that I will pick it only once and another one I'll pick twice or three times, you know, and that's totally up to the wheel. That's not up to me anymore. Because then it's really, it's out of my hands, right? So, I don't, I can't, um, 
you know, it's not like I can, um, that I have any control over that. Right? So, um, but, um, yeah, just a second here. There. So, um, oh, if you're wondering here, and I, oh, yes, I was going to say that I still have, a few things that I need to get from one, two, three stitch as well for myself, but I'm not getting it anytime soon. Um, it's, uh, it's just too expensive for me right now. I can't, I can't swing it, but I am, um, missing one of the little charts from, um, um, the Nutcracker. What is it? Um, oh my gosh. I can't think of the name of it. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks. Something like that. But anyway. Yeah. So I'm missing... The eighth or the ninth chart, I can't remember. And then I um, and then there's others that I'd like to get. And I will after I'm finished those, you know, any of my counted charts, then I will put them as a giveaway then too, or a gift away, whatever way you want to choose it. And, um, yeah, because you, you all have been so kind and generous to me. So why would I not share that? Right. Okay. This is how far I have on Halloween sampler. You can see those three pumpkins are getting done the bottles are I think practically all done so there's not much left really I yeah I'm going to work down here on these pumpkins now and that I still don't know because everything's still a mess so I can't really get into my craft room. But I still want to do something here with beads. I'd like to put beads in there. I know I want to put beads in for the eyes. Like on on the, the eyes here and on the cats and, you know. So, but we'll see. We shall see. Right. We shall see. But um, I got to dig them out and I'll do that today. Yesterday I put plastic over the window in the craft room. That didn't take me long. But it is rather hard to do when you're just one person, right? Because you got to try and hold it up. But what I do is first I put the tape around. Well, first of all, I measure the plastic. And then I cut the plastic, sometimes not too straight. And then I... Um, Then I put the tape around. It's it's a double-sided tape. So I put that around. And then I start with the plastic at the top. And I work my way down and down. You know, and I kind of tug it a little bit so it's tighter. I know they had ones that were, you know, you had to dry I've never done that. I don't have a hair dryer anyways. But I don't I don't do that. 
so but uh, yeah so I did that so I think I'm gonna do the pantry next because that window even though it's newer than the other three windows it still leaks it's um I don't know why, but it does. It leaks. And that, so. Sydney has been a holy terror. He's, I cleaned this up yesterday. And then he was right back at it. Today, he, like, he knocked everything down. Um, Alexa, what's a forecast? Currently, in Eriksdale, it's zero degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of two degrees and a low of minus six degrees. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah, so high of two and a low of minus six. Not nice. Not nice. So. Yeah. So otherwise not much else is happening. Uh, we have mass at noon. And uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, I finished, I, I binge watched the whole, um, season there of The Watcher from Netflix. <laughs> Very good. There is nothing, it is suspenseful. But it's not, it's not bloody or anything. You kind of think of it is in one episode, but, and I mean it is, but it's not. So, um, like it, it's, you don't see anything and it's all behind closed doors. Oh, I didn't even tell you that I had, where is it? When uh, Amazon had their early prime access, I bought this. And this is a reading log. And there's enough for a hundred um, books, ebooks, audiobooks, whatever it is. And to fill it all in. So I'm going to do that. Now, if someone can tell me how it is, because I've seen this on a lot of um, you know, booktubers who've done uh, reviews and um, book journals and or book logs, whatever it is, that they have these mini pictures of books. And I think they get it off of Goodreads. But I don't know. Maybe they get it off of Amazon. I don't know. But I have no idea how to, to do that. You know? Because it seems silly to waste a whole piece of paper just for one. So. 
so um but if if anybody knows how i can do that and then put it and kind of do a where i show it <laughs> that doesn't make sense you know where i can print off say 10 books at a time right that i i plan on reading if you know how to do that and not on a computer okay because i only have my ipad and my iphone to do that and then i got oh where is it here oh my gosh did they all get oh no oh sorry for the close-up of my face okay so wait a minute oh my gosh that one and that one and there's still one more there's still one more well i guess it was there and joan or uh, sydney must have knocked it off okay but you'll get the idea i got these things and they are you put those um jelly stamps on here you know the silicone ones or whatever and then you put it on um dye and then you can print so they had a really good sale on and there's four of them but obviously i've only got three right here but they go down and in sizes so the next one is here okay but you get the idea because they're all the same okay so it was a really good deal because i was looking up what one cost and they wanted a lot now i have some of those silicone stamps or jelly stamps or whatever it is and um, i'm expecting one coming in the mail but it's not due until, I don't know, November sometime. So, I know that Dollar Tree has stamps like that. But I don't get to Dollar Tree. So, but if they have them at Dollarama every once in a while, ouch. But their craft department really sucks. It really, really, really sucks. They have really nothing. Nothing for um, craft supplies. They used to. Oh my gosh, they used to have lots of stamps, um, like stickers, because I love stickers. And because I use them in my um, journal. And because um, they kind of express my mood and how I feel and um, what my day was like and, um, you know, that kind of thing. I've been looking for ones that have weather. That has to do with weather. Can't find anything. Now I know I have a lot for Christmas. A lot. So I will have enough for this year. But it's for... Um, like I really have nothing for Thanksgiving. I really have nothing for valentine's day new year's day um um saint patty's day um victoria day um you know any of those days i don't need any fourth of july ones because i don't celebrate it um but canada day 
um, you know, just anything, World Cat Day or something, you know. But you get these stamps and either you can, well, you, you stamp them on and then you can either color or you can redo it in, like, just have it that it's in the one color. You know, so if you've got various color of um, ink blots, ink stamps, then you can fill that in, right? I just thought it was a perhaps a nicer way to, you know, to do up my um, my journaling. But like I said, those silicone stamps that I know that Dollar Tree carries them, but we don't get to Dollar Tree. We just don't. Okay, I'm almost finished here. I'm just going to, oh my gosh. It's, uh, oh. so I'm just going to, do this. Oh, I'm watching and it's on Netflix. I'm watching The Sinner season two. There's four seasons now. It's really good. Really, really good. So Bill Pullman is in it. And he's uh, Detective Harry Ambrosia. Uh, it's a very, it's really good. Uh, season two is about a boy who supposedly, he either did or did not kill his parents. So we don't know the whole story. So I'm just on uh, episode three. So, alrighty. So that's where I am working on the pumpkins and um, yeah I just have some of this green here to do and I have down here on the pot to do and I have some see I have some here to do there so it's coming along it is coming along. The part that's going to take the longest is either if I do it in beadwork or it is that I, um, but the back stitching too, right? So. All right, so um, I asked that, um, it here. Charles K, you won the cat in silk. So please contact me with your um, mailing address. Natasha Tigalar, uh, you won the flowers in the silk. So please contact me about that. And you only have until tomorrow evening. Okay. So, and if you've decided you don't like what was drawn for you, then let me know and I will pull another name or spin the wheel. And then Sally Hislop from Scotland, you won the $25 Canadian gift card to 123 Stitch. Okay? So, all right, everybody. And remember the other two you need to use. Um, these are the last ones. And they're both counted. That's Autumn Lady. And that is Lady in the Rose Garden. And use the word beads. Bead or beads in a sentence. And you must not have one um, in the recent past. I know I don't do many draws, but I like to keep it open to others. Okay? And... Um, so yeah, so I guess that's 
that's it. So may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I, and so does Miss Lily Bay, and so does Sydney, and so does Jonah. He's hiding in his little hut. So thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. Amen. So have a wonderful Sunday. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. To lose everybody.